Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia aka Crafty Owl here with the project for cat scrappiness. Today I'm going to be making a pet sympathy card that includes some stamping, masking, and stenciling. I hope you'll stick around and see what I create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Earlier this month, Cat Scrappiness had their new release, which was all about dogs. In the description box below, I will have a link to all of the new products and I will also link to the videos here on YouTube that showcase those. On the left are some cards I have already made with the new products and on the right are the main supplies I'll be using for today's cards. That is the Rainbow Bridge Sentiment Stamp Set which is great if you have a family member, a friend, co-worker, neighbor who has lost a pet, and I will be pairing that with the new paw print 6x6 stencil. As I get started on the process, if I add any other products or tools, I will be sure to let you know, but as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! To get started today, I'm going to be stamping onto a scrap of Nina Solar White that is five and a half by four and a quarter. I will be using Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I set up the bridge and the sentiment that I wanted to use onto my piece of cardstock. Now because this is a new stamp and my ink pad is a little bit dry, I did ink this up and stamp it a couple times. Once I liked how crisp black that stamp was, I brought in a scrap of masking paper which just has a low tack on the back and I stamped the bridge onto this. The impression doesn't have to be as crisp since it's just for a mask, so I stamped this once and then I took it off camera and cut out the outside using my brother's scan and cut, but since I want the rainbow or the ink blending to show between the rails, I did go ahead with my fine tip scissors and I cut that out. I decided the easiest would be to cut the railing off and then cut into each of the posts. After I have that placed onto my stamped piece of cardstock, I am ready to start the ink blending. Since this is a rainbow bridge card, I did bring in a rainbow of inks and the coordinating blending brushes. I started with the two center colors, yellow and green, so I would have a good idea of how much space each color could have. I probably went in maybe two times with each of the colors and then I would come back with the previous brush and kind of blend them a little bit more together. After I had that rainbow down, I brought in the new paw print stencil from Cat Scrappiness and leaving the mask in place, I taped down my stencil to my card front and to the piece of graph paper beneath it. I then used the same colored inks and I tried to keep them in the same area on the card and I went back in and re-blended. This way the paw prints will be just a little bit darker than the color behind them. Now once it was done, I still need to leave that mask on there and the stencil, but I wanted to show you what it's looking like so far. You can see here when I peel back the stencil that you can make out the paw prints from the color behind it. 
Now I could have left the background just like this and I think it would have looked great, but I did decide to go ahead and give it a little sparkle and I brought in some glitter gel and then using a spatula, I added that to where the paws are on the stencil. Now I probably should have let the ink dry overnight before I did this, but instead I was getting ready to go to bed and thought, oh, I'll let the glitter gel dry overnight. The spatula did pick up some of the color from the ink below it, so I did make sure to wipe that off between the colors so I wasn't mixing like too many different colors in the rainbow and making a brown. Once I had the glitter gel all done, I pulled off the stencil and then using these awesome tweezers from Cat Scrappiness, I removed the mask. This piece then sat overnight so the glitter could dry. I just love the extra little sparkle that glitter gel gives to the card front. To cut out the center portion of this piece, I brought in the A2 Frames die set from Cat Scrappiness and using the largest one, I did a little die cutting off screen. This is going to leave me with the center and then I have a little rainbow frame. Now I did want to go ahead and add a pet to my card. I wasn't sure which I was going to use so I got out the dog and the cat which do have wings on them and using VersaFine Onyx Black I stamped them onto a scrap of white cardstock. Now sometimes with the solid area like on the animal bodies it's hard to get a crisp image but I only ended up having to stamp these new stamps twice to get a nice solid black for each of my pets. I then took these off screen, once again using my brother's scan and cut. I cut them out and I also added some foam tape to the back. Also off screen, I added the rainbow frame to a card front and a small black mat to my stenciled and ink blended piece. On the back of this, I added some craft foam with art glitter glue, and to put it on the card front, I added a little more art glitter glue. Now what I like about this is, since it is liquid, it gave me a little bit of wiggle time to get it centered, and then I placed a stamp block on top of it and let that sit for about five minutes. Once that piece had time to dry, I did decide to go ahead and put the dog on the card front, so I pulled the release paper and placed it right below the sentiment on the bridge. Because there was already so much sparkle in the background, I didn't need to add any more before calling the card complete, and here are some close-up looks for you. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.